And we have a man shot by a San Diego police officer at the San Ysidro Transit Center is suing the city now. On June 4th, an officer shot and killed 19 year old Mauricio Ramos. Witnesses say Ramos was threatening passengers and pointing what looked like to be a gun. You see it there in that surveillance image. CBS 8's Chris Grove live now sharing what Mauricio's family is saying. And Mauricio's family does plan on filing a lawsuit likely going to be in federal court. In fact, we just heard from the family attorney Stephen King, and he laid out again the case that they have that they believe where these officers went wrong. Take a listen to a little bit of what they had to say at today's media briefing. What's also even more shocking is that when Mauricio was encountered by the police officers, when they first observed him, he was by himself. He didn't pose any risk of danger to anyone. He was sitting down, still rocking back and forth. And so that's going to likely be a big part of this case right here. We just got our hand on the claims that are going to be filed as well here too. And in again, this legal document, you see that they uh, again specifically list specific documents, policies and procedures that the San Diego Police Department have for the handling of citizens in distress with mental health issues. Now we also heard from Mauricio's mother who says that Mauricio did suffer from mental illness, that he had a long documented history of mental illness and again, also from uh, Mr. King, the attorney there heard that in that video, you see him rocking back and forth. They also claim uh, that the officers rushed into action with their weapons, that there was only six seconds that went by before officers fired their weapons. And they do believe that the, uh, that the incident could have been de-escalated had officers uh, actually not rushed in to that trolley car. Now, of course, uh, what we know from the San Diego Police Department side is that they responded after calls came in of a man that turned out to be Mauricio armed and acting erratically in surveillance video that was edited but also released from the San Diego Police Department. You can see Ramos rocking back and forth in the trolley. You then switch over to the police body cam footage, which shows when police arrived. You could see them open a door. Officers step inside. Ramos then appears to pull out again what it looks like a gun, and that's when officers open fire. However, it was determined that the gun Ramos was holding was indeed a Glock style BB gun. SDPD did release photos again with the, along with that surveillance video and the edited body cam footage that shows that BB gun at the scene. It does not have an orange tip or other bright colors, which are often used to signal when a gun is a BB variety as a non lethal weapon or an airsoft gun, something of that effect. Now we did reach out to the San Diego Police Department about uh, the media briefing about the planning of the lawsuit. We were told that they do not comment on pending litigation. Now, as far as the officer involved shooting investigation, that is still being uh, that is still underway right now. That is actually being handled by the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, which is police, which is protocol, which is law enforcement protocol here with the San Diego Police Department. That is an arrangement that they have. Uh, and for now, again, we're going to wait to see what happens next here as the court case uh, we get forward here to potentially a court case. Thanks, Erica Chris. Carey. We'll continue to follow this one and give you the news as it rolls into the newsroom.